welcome back. So today I'm intending oh shoot. Um well I'll find a way to test this anyhow. I was gonna say I'm intending to try to um do bug house with an engine on my chess server, and it just occurred to me that wait, I don't have a Windows build of Stockfish, so I'm gonna have to use a different engine that that shouldn't prevent me from trying. So let's connect to the server. Server being um, relaychess.org. I'm gonna wanna put that in my buffer because um, I'm gonna need that more than once. Okay, so I'm logged in as a user. Hey, Vinvin. Uh, so I can seek 3.0 bug house on this server. However, I need to have a partner and I need to be uh, having some opponents to play against. And to that end, I'm going to have to pick an engine to use. Um, so let's get one of these up. Oops, don't mean to full screen that. My mouse likes to double click when I don't. Um, all right. Oh, so one thing to show, um, you probably saw it last stream, was that it's possible to um, play uh, against Stockfish on this server in Crazy House. Uh, we did manage to finally get that going. Um, I think I streamed that. I could be imagining that. It was quite an endeavor either way, but we finally got there. Um, so now I'm going to try something more ambitious, which is... Um, uh, to be able to use an engine for uh, playing not just uh, Crazy House, but playing uh, Bug House. However, the Windows Stockfish build doesn't yet support Bug House. Um, it was only coded just today. It's the pretty trivial code once we figured it out, but um, the idea is that when you capture a piece, it doesn't automatically go into your hand but it just kind of vanishes. And so right now Stockfish's implementation of Bug House is very much like normal chess, with the exception being that you can actually drop a piece onto the board. Hey, welcome. Um, and yes, yeah, so part of the reason I'm actually streaming at this time is because, well, I know the marathon's going on. I don't intend to conflict with it, but I'm kind of, um, I don't know. Looking at the games that are going on, I think it's going to be more exciting just watching it tomorrow as it concludes. Um, so, let's see. Oh, right. So I was going to pick an engine that does play Bug House and see if I could get that to um, play on this server. So I know TJ Chess does play Bug House. However, the TJ Chess suggests that you um, um, that you run TJ Chess as its own partner. Otherwise, it might not work so well. Um, yeah, that was just today. I coded um, the logic that says if you're playing a Bug House version of chess or variant, uh, do not put the piece in hand but just let it vanish and let the user interface handle the fact that uh, the position's gonna change and eventually a piece might end up in your hand. It's no doubt it's gonna be messy. I'm not sure how the user interface relays to the engine that, oh, we've got new pieces in hand that just got passed to you. Um, I have not even begun to look at that, but uh, from the engine's perspective, all it needs to know is this is the position, This is, these are your pieces in hand, go find a move. Um, it doesn't need to be perfect. It could certainly be improved. 
I think it's going to be fun to play against uh, when we do, do finally get in a position where we're able to play against it. Um, I have no idea what Stockfish is going to do when we get a new piece. I'm sure I'm going to get flooded with suggestions about exactly what Stockfish should do. Um, and that's not to say that every suggestion is good, but we'll find out how it works. Um, part of the motivation here is that, well, now we've got a server, developers could go ahead and make their own changes to Stockfish and play on this server, uh, again, located on the RelayChess.org um, domain. Yeah, proper implementation would be tricky, but you know what? We've got a server, developers can try changes, they can try partnering up with other players, with humans, with machines, with any partner of their choice, run as many engines as whatever you want to do on the server, that's okay. You could even connect as guest accounts and do stuff if you're not comfortable enough doing things otherwise. Um, not saying that you'd have to, but um, yeah, now that we've got the server, anybody can make their own flavor of stockfish to do exactly whatever they want. Um, and if somebody comes up with a better way to do things, we'll certainly consider patching that in. Um, subject to the fact that it might, it's not allowed to like ruin how Stockfish plays normal chess. Um, pronounce that engine name as the DVPER speaks Dutch. Oh. So, I'm sorry, you're not S-J-E-N-G, but S-I-E-N-G. So it's like Sieng, or something like that. Interesting. Um, so, if I want to pick an engine that's capable of playing... Oh, man. Man. It's not carrying over all my info. Pick TJ Chess. I'll pick TJ Chess again. I'm sorry, I don't mean to pick it this way. I mean to copy the directions here. Um, now I've got my launch file. So we don't need the name. We just need what's our engine and what's our directory. Um, and apparently this is not a UCI engine, so it doesn't need any of this stuff. Um, hmm, what a mess, what a mess, okay, it's kind of unfortunate I have to sabotage this file to um, make that work, but that's okay. Uh, so, now I could run this. Assuming I'm not forgetting anything. So I could say zippy. Okay. Um, whoa. Not at all what I intended to happen there. Um, okay, so we're connected. Uh, we can type who to see who's available to play Bug House. Um, let's see, I'm connected to guest UIME. So I can say partner guest QJOL. I'm making a partnership offer. Um, I suppose I don't need that open. Uh, oh, here we are. Partner. Guest UIME. Okay, we are now partners. So, we're now partnered with um, TJ Chess. However, that's only one engine. To actually demonstrate this properly, it's going to require more engines. Um, so,
So let's get some more engines going. Uh, so I'm going to repeat this process. Slightly arduous. That's okay. He runs again. Guest. Oops. Okay. We are now logged in as a guest. Let's do that again. Hopefully my computer won't melt down during these games. No, I don't want to full screen that. I want to reduce its dimension. Don't want to move the window. Don't want to full screen that. Let's try this. There we go. Winboard, winboard, zippy. All right, TJ chess number four. Um, guest. I forgot. Do I have a bug who command? Hopefully I do. Bug who. Who. All right, so. Um, I'm getting lost. I'm seriously getting lost. I don't need that open. Um, okay, so HMPK QJXM. Okay, partner guest HMPK. Uh, partner, guest, QJXM. Okay, we now agree to be partners. Um, I have a feeling I want to set um, the settings such that uh, they do not ignore tells from unregistered players. There's a setting for that here. Um, so, yeah, TJHS attempts to do that, by the way. I just put, um, and, and feel free if you can come up with a way that doesn't hurt Stockfish at other variants and improves it, feel free to make the code yourself, try it out on the server, and if it's demonstrated to be an improvement, we'll strongly consider adding it. Um, I just wanted to get the rules in place uh, so that people would have the ability to make improvements even if they're not necessarily understanding how to implement bug house in the engine they could still try to make the improvements uh, to what is now a working bug house engine so that's the point um, okay Oh, but if they're partners, they use the ptel command anyway, so it's no big deal. Um, sort. All right, play zero. Okay, now I got to find the one of these windows. Um, okay, where am I? This one's got to be the human window, right? Uh, D five. Nice. Okay, now it'd be also cool if I could find the one where my partner's telling me things. I don't think I'm going to manage to find that. <laughs> okay. No, wait. Guest QJOL. Oh, I actually found the right console. Um, but I don't know if my partner's telling me anything. Uh, okay, we got a knight in hand. Let's try adding the knight on the board. Oh, come on. Please don't hang. Oh, shoot. It looks like I've confused a user interface somewhere. So we've got two TJ chesses on the other board um, playing lots of moves. 
Meanwhile, I've caused white to hang, and I'm not sure why. Uh, okay, one of these windows demonstrates where um, guest HMPK is stuck. Where's guest HMPK? Here we are. Um, can I get like the engine output window or something? Um, <laughs> engine output. Okay. Um, <laughs> so why is the engine not thinking? Presumably it's not. Like if I check my process manager, um, I should be able to see CPU utilization. It's at thirty-seven percent. Uh, out of four cores, I would expect two of them to be running. Oh, more than two because I'm streaming. Um, so yeah, I would expect there to be multiple engines that are uh, using CPU time. I'm not seeing that at all here. Um, so maybe TJHS was the wrong choice for a partner. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's tons of things that may be worth adding. Um, and that's what I'm saying. Like, I put. Um, I could show you all the code changes I had to make to the server and as well to Stockfish just to get this in a position where other people are able to make contributions. Um, at the moment, I'm, I've done a lot of coding. Um, so doing more coding is not one of the things that I'm very strongly looking forward to doing on this just yet. Um, I'm sure at some point I'll take another interest in it, but um, at the moment that's not something I'm uh, actively interested in pursuing. Yeah, so... Yep, we see that the one game ended. Um, let's see. So I won. The three boards are done with this. The one game where, or the one board where the human was making moves, myself was. Um, or rather, I was. Um, is still here in case I want to go back and forward through the moves and re display what happened. Um, which is pretty cool. Let's see. Guest HMPK, though, is the one that forfeited on time. Uh, okay, what was this link? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. I was able to spot the engines. I mean, finding the engines wasn't the hard part. We've got the four GUIs, and underneath each GUI you have each engine. That's not the hard part. I mean, yeah, I've used Process Explorer before. It's quite useful, but I don't need it. What I need is an engine that doesn't hang um, when I'm trying to use it. Is the oh, emote thing custom? Oh! I forgot, um, you guys are seeing emotes. Um, let me show you how they enabled that. Uh, it's Capigen. Uh, what's the most compelling way to display this? So, yeah, you can uh, configure this all kinds of various ways. Um, Basically, this Capigen thing is what causes emotes to display in the overlay. And I made a feature request of uh, their development team 
to you know make a in browser version of that so that I could make all those uh, symbols appear on top of the chessboard as I'm playing I could see them um, which would be hilarious oh wait one second I've got to go get my food I'll be right back to give that a minute to settle um, just took that out of the oven it's always good to have nice warm food um, so I want my partner to disconnect and I want to replace my partner with a different engine um, so guest HMPK is the one who failed us it's the weakest link goodbye Okay, so apparently that's over here. Um, copy zippy.bat to um, and then we want a notepad sunsetter. Um, yeah, sunsetter is an export engine. So it should be compatible out of the box. Um, so I'm going to change TJ Chess here to Sunsetter. And I want to get the engine name, or um, file name rather. So that's not correct. I forgot in this terminal, in order to get changes to apply, um, you need to um, hit enter after highlighting text. Okay, so now we want to run sunsetter. Okay, connect as a guest. All right, guest T F O T. Uh, which one's the human guest G H M P K? Partner guest H M P K. Nope, that was wrong. Oh, it was U I M E, wasn't it? No, it was Q J O L. What? How does that person already have a partner? It's pretty clear that QJOL was the one, um, anyway, TFOT, was it? Um, partner guest TFOT. Partner guest QJOL. Right. Um, seek bug house three O. Okay. Um, sought play zero. Um, play zero. Sought. Three L Bugmas. Okay. Um, let's try that again. Well, that doesn't look entirely correct, now does it? Couldn't you do that with a user script and an iframe? Um hmm. I'm not sure. A user script and an iframe. Now, how would that work? Oh. 
I don't know, maybe with some Z indexing or something that might be possible. I'm I don't know JavaScript or that sort of thing very well. But maybe that's possible. Oh, it's good you enjoy the keyboard. Um, so, I can type games. There are no games in progress. Um, okay, QJOL is myself. TFOT is my partner. HMPK is out. UIME. Okay. Match guest UI and me free o bug house. Your opponent has no partner for bug house. Did I disconnect the wrong one? Okay, this is getting confusing. We're going to start over. Bam, bam, bam. All right. So we got the three terminals. Um our OBS window in this shell, which we don't need anymore. So we first use an internet chess server of relaychess.org. Um, guest, okay, we are in. Um, be zippy dot bat to tj chess dot bat tj chess actually let me do sunsetter first guest okay um we're gonna see who's logged in who Okay, the other player is guest G M I H. And guest G M I H agrees. Okay. So I've got a partnership with Sunsetter. Um, now we do TJ chess to connect that. Guest. Okay, we're logged in as this guest. And then we do TJ Chess again. TJ Chess prefers that it be partnered only with itself, so that's why I arranged it that way. Um, Z A K W. Z A K W. Can't even select this text very easily. Partner that thing. Okay, seek the O bug house. Um this one's me, right? Uh hopefully. Okay, play zero. That's not the right board. Okay, I found the board. Yeah, the server really ought to start the clock as soon as the bug house game initiates. It shouldn't need to wait on both boards. Okay. So we'll see if Sunsetter well, so last time I spooked the engine by dropping a piece on the board. Um, so that's why I'm trying to instigate it again this way. Um, yeah, it uh, appears that I have stumped it. Uh, I can type moves to get a move list. Pawn at C4. Well, that's not right. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. I can understand why the interface is confused. 
Okay. Um, does anybody know why pawn at c4 is the move there? Uh, R-L-U-Y. Do the same moves command here. Oh, okay, so that's... Um, so pawn at c4 is how the one game is going, but bishop at d5 is what's actually played here, which is correct. If I type moves here, pawn at c4. If I type moves way over here, <laughs> Sunsetter tells you sit. My opponent is waiting for something. Okay. Yeah, I, I can definitely sit. Um, no, I was looking at the wrong board. Pawn at c4 did happen here. Um, I think TJ Chess... I don't even know. But Sunsetter and I seem to be getting along pretty well this time. Um... So that said, I mean, if anybody wants, uh, let me see if I can drop the link in here. Um, Windboard Alpha Build. Uh, that's not right. Alpha build. Let's see if I can find the link for it. Oh, here it is. Um, I forget how to add a command, but anybody who wants to can download that. Um, connect to that. URL and participate in this madness. Um, but yeah, I've successfully vanquished TJ Chess. Um, so perhaps we want to try an all sunsetter configuration. Let's give that one go. Uh, Okay, that looks fine. Um, guest. All right. Sunsetter. Log in as guest. Sunsetter. Log in as guest. And setter number three. If I can click on this. Nope, nope. We have to shuffle this way. Sun setter. Guest. There we go. And then everybody picks a partner. Uh, ooh. Partner, guest, CPAV. Um, who, partner, wait, QWAT was the other one, guest, TEWJ, partner, guest, TEWJ, okay, go over here, partner, guest, QWAT, um, Partner guest. I can't even read that. E K E U C three O bug house. Um play zero. Right, that initiates this. 
I just need to find the one of these that corresponds to me. Wait, I was on that one though, right? Here we are. E4. So let's take one of those. Wow, Sunsetter plays quickly. Uh, and it's not stymied by the fact that I'm placing pieces on the board. Which means that the server works, maybe. Uh, probably also means that I'm going to get my rear end handed to me by um, Sunsetter. Oh, crud! <laughs> No. Okay, that hurts. Um, resign. Oh, that was horrible. Oh, uh, that's not a. That's not something you would actually type into like Firefox or Internet Explorer. That's the address you would put into uh, the Windborn startup dialog. You say use an Internet chess server. You put in relaychess.org optionally port number 5000. Or if you really wanted to, you could say telnet relay trust at work uh, 5000. Not that. Put a space. And hey, you're in here. It's style. Um, so you can see everything that's going on that way too. Yeah, Sunsetter is kind of good, to put it mildly. Um, so, guest QAT resigns. I'm actually going to depart. Uh, and then we're going to run four Sunsetters. Uh, can I? There we go. Enough. Hopefully between that and actually running the stream, my computer will not melt down. Uh, Windboard. CPU Windboard. Sunsetter number one. Guest. Sunsetter number two. Sunsetter number three. And sunsetter number four. Get this going while I have my dinner. Um, okay. Okay, so we're guest Q, L, R, Z. Let's partner the first two and last two alphabetically. Um, okay, these guys. Guest. That's quite the name. Um, seek three O bug house. Okay, so pick somebody from the last half of the alphabet and say play zero. And there we go. We have a bug house game. Um, Got two bug house games. So if I can move this to the right just a touch, get some kind of glance of what's going on on both boards. It's not perfect, not even close. Um, there we go. Close enough-ish. Um, I 
Oops, am I missing part of this board now? Yeah, I have to do that. Um, and I'm missing a file there. Now it seems I can't fit all this full screen anyhow. That'd be cool if this knight here could check that king though, wouldn't it? Would that not be cool? Alright, I'm gonna get my food. Surprisingly, my computer hasn't caught fire just yet. Oh, I'm looking at the same game twice here. Um, there we go. That's as close as it's going to get. Without a little bit of finagling. Move this over. Alright, you have to forgive me for the missing A file. But yeah, anybody can download the interface and watch the games live using the interface, so you don't have to watch it on the stream if you don't want to. <laughs> Gonna get my food. Okay, it looks like the game completed. Um, you know, it'd be nice if I could figure out a way that, for it to just issue the rematch command upon completion of a game. Game end 1, 2, 3, and 4. I don't know how it figured... Oh, maybe those just automatically get issued. Uh, alias game end uh, re... Wait, how do we do alias, help alias? <sighs> Samples. Alias game and rematch. Just go into all four of these. Alias game and rematch. Game and rematch. Are you kidding? How is rematch not a command? That is quite disappointing. Seek three O bug. both boards here if we can. Surely it's not the same exact game on both boards. There we go. 
this is the most confusing way you can view this because um, we're looking from black's perspective on both boards. However, black is paired with white. Um, so, oh, you're connected. Awesome. Yeah, feel free to hook up any engines, do any challenges, whatever you want to do here. Um, by all means, this is an open sandbox, so um, the more the merrier. Oh, my Go server. Um, good question. I think it's still up and active. But I was having tremendous difficulties um, improving the client. So... I haven't really touched the Go server in a while. But I think it's still up and running on my dev server. I could potentially deploy that onto this server as well. Although OGS is quite good. Oh, but, right. Mm. I forgot the point of me having a Go server was so I could hook up a Go AI. I haven't progressed very far with that either. Um, because come November, I got quite distracted by Crazy House. Now, I think here we have a sitting situation. There's going to be a race at the end of this game. Um, eventually, somebody's going to have to chicken out and start moving. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe not. Hmm. I was wrong. Still, that's a real bummer that the rematch command is not recognized on this server. Hmm. I mean, if you want, um, you could try to troubleshoot Sunsetter or pick a different engine. I'm not sure why it's getting stuck. Um, for what it's worth, I think if you've... So, uh, this launch file is configured such that if you issue any I'm sorry if you tell oh but this isn't working tell wise either I was gonna say if you tell a player um, anything starting with the word beer that player will uh, execute that command but the players are ignoring tells from unregistered players see so, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on
perhaps what's happening there is one partner is telling the other to sit and that sitting situation is happening on both. Does anybody remember, um, there's a way to configure, I thought there's a way to configure the engine to automatically make and or accept challenges. Six thread for six thread. Um, December 22nd versus January 5th, 59.5%. Nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah, today I found an improvement that I think speeds up um, Stockfish at Crazy House by about 1%. Um, I'm not entirely sure about the change, but... Hmm. I did the best I could to test it, and I see no reason why it shouldn't work. I just don't know how large of an improvement it's going to be. Um... Guest AWNT issue that same command. Can I select this? Yeah. Copy, paste, paste, maybe. We had an automatic match acceptance, except there doesn't seem to be a whole lot going on. Um, oh, right. Um, ANWT versus VDRU. Just VDRU three O Bughouse and end. Okay. So that should be enough to kick this off each time. That's the wrong board. That's somewhat better. I suppose we'd rather see um, the king side on this board and this entire board. There's probably a better way to lay these windows out in windows, but... Um, no, I seem to have selected the same game twice again. How did I do that? Okay. Um, yeah, let's get a view of this board. Auto accept would be nice. Um, but yeah, now I've at least set up two of the players to execute a rematch upon conclusion. So that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, I'm not even sure if a score drop, I assume by score drop you mean an evaluation change, 
I'm not sure that that's indicative of a problem. Um, I'm not sure the best way to discover problems at this point. Since one could argue that the evaluations are arbitrary anyhow, they're only supposed to help the engine find the best move. Um, and so even if the evaluation is completely incorrect, as long as it finds a good move, then that's okay. Um, and just because it doesn't find a good move doesn't necessarily mean that the score was the problem. All right, let's see, what do we have on the Windboard forum? Uh, Windboard plus... Oh, is this like auto accept that you were talking about? Um, that's nice. Oh, zippy game end. I forgot. Yeah, that's a possibility. But yeah, I can edit my launch file to have a zippy game end uh, command. And then <laughs> uh, I still can't, my visualization still looks wrong. Um, wait, are they playing exactly the same game on these boards? That seems completely unreasonable, though, I mean, who am I to question it? Yeah, so anyhow, I'll have to find a way to, um, it's confusing because I'm running all the engines on my computer, and so therefore I have to have four windows open, and I can't just keep track of two windows. I have to have all four open, so I have twice as many, um, and what's it, I have a, like, two and three chance of getting the wrong window. Um, well, no, one in three chance of getting things wrong. You'd think I would get things correct more often then. Hmm, strange. Um. So, yeah. Anyhow, um, the good news is that it's possible to use Winboard uh, to play these games. Even if it's not entirely clear why the engines are sitting or stalling or whatever it is that they're doing. Okay, sit, go. Sitting. Tell me if sitting, if nothing comes for me. Or go to make one move. Sitting, tell me sitting if... Okay, so I think the deal here is that um, both players would very much like to have a piece. And we've got a Sitzkrieg, as they call it. We've got a war where nobody wants to move because they want their partner to give them the peace. <laughs> and somehow they're going to have to decide not to do that. And the funny thing about this particular situation um, is I don't know if the engines are, they couldn't possibly be aware of the time situation on both boards, could they? Um... Oh, and on the other two boards, we have the go commit. Well, one of them said sit and then said go. The other just said sit, saying my opponent is waiting for something. 
So yeah, and both boards we have white waiting for a piece to show up because that could decide the game. Um, now it's just a question of who runs out of time first. And we've got a rematch. So, yeah, this all works. Uh, feel free to log in, partner somebody. Um, I should see if there's a way to auto partner or something like that. I should also see if there's a way to accept tells from unregistered players. I don't remember the um, variable for that. But if I could set that on the computer accounts, then anybody could partner them. And then uh, we get some more interesting games. Um, also, it could be fun if I had a crazy house, I'm sorry, not a crazy house, but a bug house opening book. But I don't know how well engines play with that anyhow. All right, white would very much like to have two queens there or something similar. On the other board, white has a very strong attack. Um, yeah. This is funny. Um, anyhow, proof of concept is demonstrated. People are free to do what they want with the server with the export interface, with all the engines, with the source code. Um, there's room for improvement everywhere. Um, I might just go back to watching uh, the Lee Chess Marathon. But yeah, it's good to see that I finally got Bug House going here. And then when Stockfish gets um, compiled for Windows next, I can download that and try to run that on the server as well and see um, if I have better results with Sunsetter, with Stockfish, with TJHS. We can figure out who is our crazy, our not just crazy house champion, that's already been decided, um, but who's uh, the strongest bug house engine. Oh, I forgot the one other thing. Uh, I did set up a tournament bot I should try to experiment with that and see if I could get all the engines to join some sort of bug house tournament. Or not all the engines, but half of them. Because the other half of the players don't necessarily need to be in the tournament for uh, bug house games to occur. Um, yeah, when I was listing, showing the list of logged in players, uh, the tournament bot wasn't there. So I have to figure out why that's missing. But yeah, Bug House works. So. Um, I don't think there's any more coding to be done this instant. But I'll come back and figure out what's up with the tournament bot. And um, maybe at some point figure out how to improve Sunsetter. Although it'd be good to have some uh, competitors first. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.